This is Robert Peavy with Pump Techs Incorporated, and I wanted to reach out to you as a business owner and make sure that you knew about some SBA programs that are available right now. So if you haven't heard about it yet, there's three ways that the Small Business Administration and the CARES Act uh, are, can help you in your business. So the first way that the SBA can help if you have an existing 7A, a 504, or a microloan, or even an existing disaster loan, you can push off payments for at least six months on those existing loans. So that can give you uh, some extra breathing room on cash flow. Uh, the next big way is the Economic Injury Disaster Loan, or the EIDL. Now, the EIDL loan is a um, loan that you're going to have to uh, possibly put up some collateral, and if it's over 200000 that you're asking for, uh, you will be asked to sign a personal guarantee, but below that, you will not. Uh, you can get an economic injury disaster loan for up to $2 million, and uh, that is direct with the SBA. No banks are involved in that. So you will go online, and I will put down in the uh, show notes um, some links that you can go in and apply for this and some more things I'm about to talk about uh, in the show notes. So that's up to $2 million. And part of that idle loan, uh, you can uh, request up to $10,000 of a forgivable grant uh, that will um, basically be forgiven. Uh, that's if you have up to 10 employees. So it's basically $1,000 per employee. Uh, if you have less than that. but uh, So basically, the idle, um, there's two parts to it. There's the uh, $10,000 grant, and there's up to a $2 million uh, recourse loan. So um, the second part that most people are talking about right now is the PPP, the Paycheck Protection Plan. Now, this is not a direct SBA loan, this is going to go through a local SBA banker, hopefully the banker you already bank with, that you have a relationship with. But, uh, and this is all based around payroll, uh, W-2 employees, and, uh, and then there is also the same program for sole proprietorships and uh, the 1099 contract employees. But through the PPP program, you can get up to $10 million dollars um, and it's all based around payroll. So uh, there's some, some reporting that you've got to do. So reach out to your bookkeeper, your CPA, or your payroll company and get those reports ready. It's not extensive reporting. Uh, it's also non-recourse. Uh, and there is some forbearance, meaning, and not, not forbearance, I'm sorry. Uh, there is some forgiveness uh, potential to this. So as long as you can prove that you kept people on the payroll, uh, for the eight weeks that's covered by the PPV, once you have been funded, then uh, they will forgive the loan if you can prove you spend it on payroll. So uh, it's definitely something worth looking into if you haven't already heard about it or haven't already applied for it. And uh, the last part that's coming down the pipe that's becoming available very soon is the Main Street Lending Program. And this is for uh, large small business and mid-sized businesses. And uh, the minimum loan on the Main Street lending program is a million dollars. So, and it's up from there. Uh, they have allocated, uh, gosh, 600 million, I believe, uh, to uh, maybe billion with a B. We'll see. But uh, learning more about that every day. But uh, that is also available. So, um, uh, stay safe during this time. Take a look at the uh, the show notes. We'll have some uh, some stuff down there to uh, to get you helped out. And uh, f feel free to let us know how we can help. Thank you very much for being a Pump Tech's customer, and I look forward to talking to you. Have a great day.